Hey, it's Josh Vigar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And I'm coming to you live from IFA in Berlin once again. And this is probably going to be the last time that I'm going to do so here at Berlin for this wonderful trade show that happens at this time of year every single year. This is my second time being here. Uh, I am pretty much going to call it a wrap after this particular video, but I still wanted to bring you a couple of vlogs. I wasn't able to vlog too many times this year, but I gave you a couple, and this is the second one, obviously. Uh, and I wanted to give you just sort of my thoughts on the entire experience. Um, we had a lot of work to do considering there were so many devices that were coming out that I wasn't able to give you too many looks into the behind the scenes type of things but I will be able to give you a couple of really nice ones here in this particular video but first talking about the actual venue itself obviously uh, it's the same experience as last year mostly a couple of places did change their locations uh, in particular Samsung was the one that decided not to stay in the north area which was kind of the main entrance for us uh, but instead they moved to the south entrance and this is the south entrance with the IFA sign and as you can see right over there that is their building. You can see Samsung right over on the corner there. That entire building is theirs, and it's pretty ridiculous, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Sony was able to be at the forefront when it came to the north entrance, and they had a very good booth as well. White all over the place, and it was very similar to what we expect from them, and that's the same with all of the companies, including LG, who obviously had a huge display for their G-Watch R. But we also got a lot of stuff from Huawei, we got stuff from Asus, uh, Lenovo, and even Motorola. We were not expecting to see Motorola here at IFA, but luckily we got got a nice uh, presentation with them. We were uh, we were able to get that sort of uh, special invite, I guess you could call it. And uh, we were able to go in and get a nice presentation on it. I really loved what I saw, and I think the Moto X is a great phone. I'm certainly going to get my own, and it's gotta be in bamboo this time around because I missed the boat last time. But in any case, we had that and a bunch of wearables. Uh, the Moto 360, we also got to look at, at that Motorola event, but also LG's G Watch R and the Asus Zen watches. Actually, it, the round revolution is kind of happening right now, and I really don't blame anybody for really trying to harness that particular form factor because everyone's kind of pining over it. But the Zen watch is probably the one that I feel like anybody could wear, and that's where I put my points on for that. I will probably have to say that it's the Sony Xperia Z3 Tablet Compact. Now, obviously we have things like the Note 4, we have all these phones, we have the wearables, but honestly, I'm in the market for a PlayStation 4, and the very prospect of being able to play and stream games from my PS4 that I'm about to buy soon onto my tablet, if I can't play on the TV, is extraordinary. <laughs> I cannot wait to be able to do that. And honestly, it's one of the coolest features, at least in my estimation. I'm gonna be playing PS4 a lot, and being able to do that anywhere in my house or within the network is something that I can't wait to do. So that would be my pick for my favorite, uh, for my favorite tablet. But luckily for me, unlike last year when I was uh, kind of having a little bit of, uh, of trouble dealing with being here kind of exactly like fully on my own, <laughs> uh, this year I actually had quite a few friends. I mean, I I've been at this for a couple of years now, and I'll get into that in a little bit but I've been at this in, in, for a couple of years now so I've made some friends in the industry and you probably saw on my Twitter G plus and Instagram feeds that I have been uh, featured on a couple of particular shows and podcasts uh, one in particular was the uh, mobile geeks live stream which I if any of you were able to watch it then th <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in no matter where you are in the world a shout out to my dad and my girlfriend for both watching it at their respective times I think it was um, midnight in the Philippines for my dad and then 8 30 in the morning for my girlfriend back in LA uh, but it was really great to be able to do that. It was just such a great time. We were able to sit down, talk about all of these devices and releases in ways that we kind of weren't able to before because we're used to doing so in a very particular way in front of the camera. And then after that, uh, just such an honor for me to be able to be on the Pocket Now weekly podcast with uh, Michael Fisher and Taylor Martin. Those two are really genuinely great guys. And I have actually known uh, the two of them for a little bit now, um, but it was really at this show that we really uh, were able to hang out a lot more and I will continue to do so probably a little bit later tonight before we call it a wrap on this entire trip because we're, we're all leaving tomorrow. You always see other people's content, whether it's on their websites or their videos or anything like that, but sometimes you don't really get to know them as people. You don't get to, you know, you want to be, you, you got to cross the line from being professionals to actually being personal friends, you know, and it's, it's, it's kind of a blessing to be able to uh, have that relationship with certain people. So I've been, in, I've been at this for two years. Uh, when I was a kid, I really wanted to write about technology and now I, I get to do so. Uh, I don't only get to do so, I get to talk in front of a camera, uh, present myself to all of you guys, put myself out there, and you guys all seem to really enjoy what it is that I do. And I really, I really 
want to thank all of you out there, um, not just the fans, but you know the guys at Android Authority for having me on the team, and just you know all these people for being gracious hosts. Like for example, Nicole and Sasha of Mobile Geeks have always been uh, very uh, very friendly with me, and uh, whenever I've had any trouble, they've always helped me out. So I call them my guardian angels. And really, it's that experience with all these different types of people, no matter who they are. It seems that you know I, I really am reminded of just how lovely it is to do what I do. Um, it's a lot of hard work but it all pays off in the end and half the reason why it pays off in the end is because of you guys. I'm coming up on what is now going to be my third year here at Android Authority. I'm not planning on going anywhere. I really enjoy what's going on here. I really enjoy where I am so I hope you guys will tune in and stay tuned uh, so that you can still see me grow. Uh, I'm sure I look quite different from last year and I'm sure that's gonna happen again next year. You know things always keep changing uh, but I will always strive to get better and better at what I do and I hope you enjoy that evolution just as much as I enjoy uh, experiencing it and bringing you the fruits of those rewards. So keep it tuned to Android Authority for all of the best coverage. And don't forget to check out all the videos from IFA 2014 that I was able to do here. And really, drop us some likes on those videos. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And if you know someone who hasn't been checking out our videos and you know someone that is in the market for some sort of new device that we've covered, make sure you tell them about us because we are your source for all things Android. And here I am signing off as your source, as I was your source for all things IFA 2014. Thanks again, you guys.